today, we're going to fit smooth right to our 1988 back on. When this machine was new in 1988, it had all the options, it is top of the range, but the only option missing, and it wasn't available, was smooth ride system, or ride control. Now, I've been working with the local JCB dealer, which is TC Harrison, and we have come up with a kit that we can retrofit, or we're going to have a try to retrofit the kit to this machine. So, stay tuned, and um, let's see how it goes, and let's see if it works, and what difference it makes. Space under the machine is very limited, but we have chosen here for the accumulator. It's on the inside frame rail, under the loader valve block. This location keeps the accumulator inside the frame, which should keep it safe from damage. Once the area has been cleaned off, we center punch and drill the holes to mount the bracket. With the accumulator and valve block mounted, and a quick scan through the installation document, we look at installing the hydraulic hoses. This is the diagram we will use to help us install the hydraulic hoses. We have had to tee into existing hydraulic circuits. This hose is teed into the loader lift ramp for the up circuit, using half inch BSP fittings and hoses. This hose is teed into the loader lift ramp for the down circuit, also using half inch BSP fittings and hoses. As you can see, we have used spiral wrap to protect the hoses from debris or chafing. This hose is a return to tank, and we have teed into an existing return from the steering gear, again using the half-inch BSP fittings. However, it made this steering pipe too long, so we replaced it with a 2-inch shorter one. Now let's move on to the wiring. JCB don't offer a wiring loom that will fit this series of backhoe, so we had to make our own. This diagram shows how we did this. 
we label the wires for reference. Now to find a suitable location to mount the switch. Here should work fine. Lady camera women. Works. That switch. Change our life. <laughs> 